Hey, welcome. Last video we created a simple static uh, web page and we were able to serve that using a simple Python server. What we're going to do in this video is uh, serve that file with an express server written in Node instead. So let's get started by first installing the express package. So express is a node package that lets you create uh, servers that handle HTTP requests uh, fairly easily and uh, it doesn't take much to get started so actually we're going to uh, create a file called server.js and this will define a server for us that will be able to return our index.html file so we're going to get started by importing some packages first off we'll look for path which will help us define directories. We're going to use fs, which will be able to handle files. We'll use express, of course, which we've just installed. And that's pretty much it. So that's the packages for our server. Then we're going to create an app. This is just a variable. Uh, it's just an object that has all the information for our app in it and it's created by calling the express the variable returned by the express package as as a function all right so to be able to return our html file we have to define an engine uh, here we will set app.set our view engine to html and so what, what we're doing here is uh, telling Express how to uh, how to return a file. Uh, by default, it'll apply some sort of templating to the file that it's returning. So it'll be an HTML file with some uh, templating syntax and it'll, and it'll fill those in. But what we want is just a plain, plain old uh, HTML uh, read as plain text and returned by the server. So what we're going to do is set the view engine into HTML and then define that HTML engine like so. So we're going to give a function that takes in some variable variables here. So it takes in the path of the file. Uh, this will be an HTML file in our case. And then what we're going to do is read that file. So we're going to read the path using a standard encoding and then pass the callback which will get called on the contents of the file. So this defines how to handle our HTML file, but we also need to handle our bundle.js file. In other words, we need to be able to tell the server to return static files. The way we do that in Express is we tell Express that we have a static folder. So this is um, Express's way of understanding where that static folder is and we're just going to give it the root folder which is where bundle.js exists so this will allow uh, the server to return bundle.js like the file itself uh, if requested by by the client this is a form of middleware which is very common with express this is just something that intercepts requests that processes them processes them and may pass them on to further middleware or other endpoints. So now we can move on to defining uh, routes. For us, we'll just have a very simple route. We'll define the get request at the root and we will take in a request and response and the the operation we want to do here is just return the index.html file. So the way we do that is just this one line where we take we take the, the, the current path, um, add the index.html file name to that, and then pass that into the send file function. So this will this will on a request at the root on a get request at the root will return uh, the file and it'll go through the view engine that we had defined uh, above. And then one more thing 
that we need to add is just a safety, an air handler for any other type of request. So Express will go through uh, from top to bottom in this file and look at what uh, what endpoints we have handled. So we have the get re request handled at the root, en root uh, endpoint. And anything else will fall through to this case where we will just do app.use, which means that it'll, it'll be called on any request that doesn't get matched to an earlier route. And just in case we we have any errors, we will respond with either the status of that error or just 500 that just defines a server error. OK, so that's our error handler. And the last thing we need to do in order for the server to run is to actually tell it to run on some port. And so we'll just use 8000 for a port. And we tell app to listen on that port. And just so we know that it's listening, we'll print out a message that we are running at localhost. And then the port number. Great. So this is our server file. Um, the way we run this in uh, from from the command line is just to run node on the file. So we run node server.js, and now it tells us it's running at localhost 8000, and the server is running locally and should be serving the index.html file. So we can test that out by going to our browser here, going to localhost 8000, and sure enough, we have that static file that we had created in the last video that's being served by our Express server. So this is just a single file. It's uh, pretty simple. It has a few different parts. And it defines a basic server that is, that is serving our, our static files to the client. Hope that was helpful, and good luck.